Here we are. Second day, roasted ram, meeting with Barbie Carlisle, the Eye of Azeroth, to pick up our second, or begin our second quest for the Secrets of Azeroth. Uh, let's see. A secretive contract. Hey there, I'm a reporter for the Eye of Azeroth. I'm investigating some strange activity in Baldragon. Want to help? I've got a source, but they'll only speak to someone wearing a thinking cap. It's supposed to focus thoughts or some such. Anyway, I made a list of the components needed and who you can get them from. Track them down and we'll talk more. I need to get a thinking a cap one. on. Thinking cap. All right. I immediately think of... Is it raining inside the roasted ram? Yes, it is. <laughs> Fine. Um, so when I'm thinking of hats you can put on your head that do other things in this game, I'm thinking engineering. It is raining in the roasted ram. Okay. Is it raining outside at least? Yeah. I apologize for the lag. Do you know about a thinking cap? I mean, yeah, the reason why I thought engineers first is because I have engineers and they make goggles and only if you were a certain armor class could you wear certain goggles, forever cutting off certain uh, uh, look options, unless you had engineer, which was annoying. So that's why I thought about it, because I was annoyed by it. It's an easy it's a way, to rem way to remember things, being annoyed by something. All right. What do you know about a thinking cap? A what? Oh, can't talk now. So busy. If you need engineering training, let me know. Otherwise, back to work for me. Okay, so she's not going to help me. You're not going to help me because you're one of the Black Talons. And... Hey. How about you? You'll find no better you got nothing to say to me. All right. I didn't read the let. Let me read. Let, me, let me read. I didn't read this. Let me read this. Thinking cap components. Thought calculating apparatus. Clinky clink shatterboom. Engineering trainer. Loves the local thunderspine nest dish Uragosa makes here at the end. Oh, okay. Wait, so I have to bribe some folks. I get this. All right, well, I should have read this first. Downy Liner Griffin, Liner, Downy Liner Griffin, Clinky Clink's assistant loves a s toothy fresh Tirana found swimming in the cascades below Valdraken. Crystal ocular lenses, shaky flat, flat, flat lap, <laughs> shaky flat lap, loves our local dragon's hoard bar a bit too much. High tab. I'm paying another tab? It's becoming a theme. Fangly Hoot's current location. Room next to the barbershop. Does not like to stay in one place too long. So need to catch her here. Okay. Engineering. Loves the local thunder. Okay. So I'm going to... Let's go back to the... The roasted ram... I hate this leg so much. But unfortunately, we're going to be in Valdrak in a bit, so I apologize. This is really bad, though. There's a lot of people here, though. I don't even I don't even know what I could do to resolve it, to be honest. Um, so, all right. She's a cook. So I'm assuming I can buy... Our flight has much to offer. Um, I hear you make a delicious thunderspine nest dish. Could you make some for me? Oh, I do make a great thunderspine nest, but if you want some, you'll need to bring me the ingredients. I get my thunderspine from Agorahi the Butcher in, in Timberstep Outpost in the Onara Plains. Oh, you're, you are going to make me travel. Um, my Apexis Asiago is sourced right here in Valdrak from, of course, Gorgonzomu, my favorite bronze dragon. 
Um, I recently began incorporating l lattice lattice stinkhorn, which I discovered in Loam. Oh, that that's a, stinkhorn's a mushroom. It's a real one. It actually does exist. Uh, sneak attack usually has them in stock. I'll need at least five of each to make a batch of ten for you. Could you write that down for me? Yes, please write that down for me. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I, I appreciate that. I realize I have another thing that's going to be in my inventory for every, forever. Okay, But I do appreciate having a shopping list and me not having to write that down any other way. So let's, let's go shopping. First we'll stop. What, well, what else do we need? Maybe we can consolidate some stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, loves found swimming in... Okay, that's involves shipping. Loves our local dragon's hoard bar a bit too much. Hi, Tep. So where's a dragon's hoard bar? Room next to the barber shop. Well, let's go to the room next to the barber shop because that doesn't require anything. And then I got to figure out where the other bar. Is. There's a room next to the barber shop. Okay, it's got to be this direction then. Oh, okay, yeah, there's a room next to the barbershop. Ha! Ah, it's, it's helpful they do put the magnifying glasses over them. It's a nice room. I rather like it. Alright, so. Well, hello. Shh! We can't talk unless you're protected. Put on your thinking cap. Alright. So, yeah. she's who I have to talk to at the end after I get everything else. So... We know where she is. So what else do we need? Let me move this around. Um, let's try to find where this other bar is. It's not a bar. He said local bar. Local bar has got to mean nearby. <gasps> oh. I am a fool. I am a fool. I know exactly where the dragon's fort is. Remember my starting screen? Because I saw a whole bunch of people in there like going in that area and I'm like why are they all going in there well it's Saturday who knows different social crew who knows what's going on this is why oh my god okay so I got a lot to edit out um of me running around pointlessly in Valdraken let's go back to the roasted ram oh my lord I can't believe I forgot that's the name of it part of this mystery solving is me trying to deal with my own terrible memory. <laughs> really, the challenge is me trying to remember things that I've done before. Um, so yes, the Dragon's Horde Bar, if you didn't know, is in access through the Roasted Ramp, which is, you know, your main, uh, your main dining slash bar in uh, Valdraken. But where is it you under? Odd statue. Respect must be shown to enter. So, you just emote. I think it's bow. Maybe. I, I thought bow was sufficient. Am I not close enough? Oh, you have to select the statue. Okay, so select the statue. And then bow. There we go. The dragon sword. So someone 
There's always a party happening here. Yay. <laughs> there are players partying it up. So yeah, this is where I uh, got the clip from my... Um... <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! It's Avorian of Vizalia! <laughs> That's awesome! Oh my god. Okay, so these two, um, you find parting it up behind the Obsidian Citadel. You see Vesalia more than Ivorian, but Ivorian is, there's a daily that you can find him there, and he's like, oh, about Sibelian. So, <laughs> I've gone here a few times. I've never caught the two of them trashed. Telling you not to tell, tell Sibelian about that Sibelian said you hear, don't tell him about this place, he ruins all the parties. You know, all I'm gonna say is, <laughs> for the longest time, I only ever knew one black dragon personally in this game. <laughs> and all, anything else you knew about them was usually not good. And then you met Ebenthorn, who, Ebenhorn Vissian, who you know, seemed pretty much up on the up, you know, pretty straight edge. Um, and, and you're just like, what is a typical black dragon like when they're not corrupted by old gods? <laughs> Let me introduce to you Vizalia and Ivorian. <laughs> I love it. Let me talk to them. Is there something you need? It's you, the one full of adventure. I won't be far. Grab a drink and forget about dragons for a few minutes. <laughs> Says a dragon. <laughs> In the Dragon Isles. In a bar called the Dragon's Horde. Sure. <laughs> I'm game. Uh, I, I, I love these two. I love these two. I just love them because they're all sneaking like... <laughs> As I said, the obsidian section of town should have its own bar, given their history and the fact that Lord knows they need a drink. Um, but, yeah, they've got a place to go and hang. Like, don't tell Sibelian, he's gonna ruin it for us. But, I love the fact that they hang out here. I love that they hang out here. Um, let me see who else is here. There is some, there's a tab I need to pay. It's a treasure chest. Well, it makes sense at the decor, doesn't it? Um, so I don't see anyone else to talk to than those two. I love that they're in here, though. That makes me so happy. All right, let me go to the bar. To Kritha. Welcome to my inn. We are a traveler. What can I do for you? I would like to talk to you about Shaky Flat Lab. Shaky, you would do well to keep your distance from that goblin. I warned him not to show his face around here with the tab he racked up. I am here to settle the tab for him. Really? Well, I'm not sure how he put you up to this, but if you insist, his tab is 346 gold, 43 silver, and 58 copper. Not a copper less. Fine, I will pay the tab. That's gonna ask you, do you really want to give over your gold? I'm a yeah, I can spare it. Count some money? Good. It's all there. Tell Shaky he can come back. But he has to pay up front from now on. Will do, sir. I'm not sure where Shaky is, but I'll find him. Um, Griffin Clinky loves two things, so I have to catch a fish below Bell Dragon. I don't know where to find. I know where Griffin is. Downy Lyra Griffin. Griffin's hanging out by the. Okay, I guess they're all by the. Um, they're all by the uh, engineering. 
Let's pick up some cheese. Something I never say no to. Some cheese from Gorgonzomo. Know me, you're dead to me. You don't even remember who I am. I was your teacher, and I mean to that. You don't even remember. Unless they changed your dialogue. Greetings, my friend. Nope. Just generic hello, friend. Don't forget to eat. Don't forget who your trainer was. But you did, so you're dead to me. All right. Gorgon's Vermu. I need... I may have forgotten exactly what I need. <laughs> Excuse me, Gorgon's Vermu. This is like me when I really do go shopping. It's like, what, what, what did I come into the store for? I was distracted by a Texas Asiago. All right. I thought it was the Asiago. You'll need five of each. You automatically get five of that. So a Pexas Aguiago, Aguiago. Um, I'm going to see if I can figure out where to do that fishing. Bring to Oh! Oh! I guess I have to kill it. <laughs> um... No, that's not what I need to do. It's, it's the griffin have to kill it. Silly me thinking it would involve fishing. Um, let's, toothy fresh Tirana. Found swimming. Yeah. Those are it. Alright. Those are your Tiranas. Cascades below Valdraken. Just look for the Cascades. Wonder where it is on your map. There about. Let's go kill some Tirana. Not to be confused with Piranha. Which I'm sure by no means they name them after. Oh, God. Lag making this a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. Oh my God, I got a turtle on me too. Seriously? Why do you make me murder game? Always with the murdering. Anyway. Fresh Tirana. I think I can only take one. But you made me kill two. Thank you. You made me kill two and I can only take one. Alright. Now we have to go to Loam. Well, we have to actually go to Onara. Well, we gotta go to the Onaran Plains. But let me see. Um, Algarahi the Butcher Onaran Plains. Timberstep Outpost. Timberstep Outpost isn't the okay. right, Now I know where I'm going at least. I, I, that looks like she might be a butcher. Or he might be. I, that's the butcher. I don't know why I mounted up. It's just going to be lag no matter where I go, I'm guessing. Yep. I hope he's a butcher, because what's he doing with all that meat? Tomorrow is not promised. Or maybe he or they. Um I think it's is it Thunderspine Tenders? A cat's and joke is a mouse's death. A cat's joke is a mouse's death? Um, okay. Uh Thunderspine Tenders. No, you may not have arrived. Discounted meat. Why would you buy that? <laughs> it's probably part of a quest or something or some um, some secret, but it's not this one, so we're not getting Don't it. Die out there. I, I will try not to die out there. It's my quest every time. Um, so we got some meat. <laughs> Let us go find the flight point and head you down. You dare to steal from my I, no, I need to get out of here before, before he kills me. You will perish in flames.
pretty sure I just this need to go to Loam. This is sacred land. Alright, yeah, I see you, Farak. I'm getting out of here before you get here. Oh. <sighs> Lost your way? She. They. If you want to know where Snick Tech is. There's Loam. Snick Tech is over here. I mean, you're told you have to buy them in groups of five, but you automatically- that's their sale price, so it's the default price. Don't worry, that's a typical New York City day. <laughs> There's no major fire happening that I know of. Well, hello there, traveler. Five is what you can buy automatically, you don't have to bother parsing out. I think we actually have all of that. So, I'm just going to port to Valdraken. Make our lives a little easier. Be right to the Roasted Ram. We will not repeat our history. I have the ingredients for the Thunder Spine Nest. Hand your. Oh, that's great! Let me see what you've brought. Hand Aragosa the ingredients and watch as she. Uses hints of what looks like flame breath on them. <laughs> they have been scattered so long. Do you seek knowledge? Did she no, give wisdom. Oh, okay. Did she give them back? Yes, she made some for me. Thunder <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to watch or something. Thunder Spine Nest. Use. Restores 60,000 health. 80,000 mana. Over 20 seconds. Must remain seated while eating. It looks like a good thing. You can even sell it. But we're not. Alright, so we had to fish up the thing for, uh... Griffin. Hold up fresh Toronto to Griffin. Griffin looks at you quizzically, holds out the spanner in his beak, and shrugs his wings. Hold up the f hold up the fresh Toronto to Griffin. Griffin eyes a Tirana, and his uh, his ocular zooms in three clicks. He's got little the Griffin McGonagall song. I, I want you to appreciate this, please. Thank you. <laughs> After a few seconds, Griffin lifts his right wing, revealing a couple of downy helmet liners. Throw the Toronto to Griffin and snatch a downy hel hel helmet liner. Uh, snatch a del snatch a downy helmet liner. So now I have a downy helmet liner. Right here. Um, so let's go talk to... I think now we can talk to her. She'll have time for us if there's someone standing on top of her, but... Yeah? What do you want? The clinky-click shatterboom. What do you know about a thinking cap? A what? Oh, can't... T do I smell thunderspiders? Mm hmm Yes, you were looking in for info on the thinking cap, right? I'd be open to a trade. Offer some of the Thunderspine Nest to Clinky Clack Shatterboom for the thought calculating of apparatus. Hey, can I interest you with a payment plan? So I now have a thought calculating apparatus. Use add down add a downy liner and a crystal ocular let and crystal ocular lens. We haven't gotten that yet. And the thought calculating apparatus. I have to find out where that other one is, the one whose tab I paid. You would think I would find out whose tab I was paying before I pay their tab, but, you know. I don't know where this character is. Over here by the jeweler. I've Oh, of course, the lenses. I've bought from him all the time. Oh, my God. All right. So here he is. Uh, supposedly, if you don't pay his tab first, you're, paying his tab is only about 350 gold. 
Um, but if you ask him directly, he asks for a thousand gold. Um, I figured out where the dragon sword was before I remembered where he was. But I had a feeling the lenses were him. Okay. Hey there, Travel. Want to see my latest ways? I settled your tab with Kritha. He says you have to pay up front from now on. Well, a deal's a deal. Here's those lenses you wanted. I can't wait to get back in for fight night. Take the lenses from Shaky. There's a fight night that happens in that place, too. I don't know if our uh, naughty black dragons get, or get trashed during fights, too, but who knows. So, oh, I still have some of the Thunderspine Nest? I thought I traded those. Oh, maybe she made two of it? Okay, so I need to combine... Okay. So I combined all the things I had to combine, and now I have an unfinished thinking cap. Take the unfinished thinking cap to Fangly Hoot near the barbershop in Valdraken. Yeah, what do you want? Fangly Hoot, but doesn't speak. Continue. If you ever need anything. Unfinished thinking cap. Fangly points to your head, then to hers. She gestures for your unfinished thinking cap. She uses an arc like spanner to adjust some wires and lenses, then flips a switch. The thinking cap whirs to life. Bangley hands it back to you. I wonder if you're if you're an engineer if you could actually do it without her help, but maybe not. Be careful out there. Thinking tricked out cap. Achievement progress. Tools of the trade. Oh, this leads me getting the uh Transmog brown tweed cap. There's a Princess Orchestraza here. That must be another player. I have two, but still. This leads to the brown tweed cap. You know I'm doing that. So. It's a toy. Trick Dell thinking cap toy. Add this toy to your toy box. Equip your tricked out thinking cap to start tracking from your location and listen for any stray thoughts. What? Hmm, interesting. The cap has an amazing function. Put it on and you'll know where you're going. Let's practice. The arrow above me has a clue on it. <gasps> The arrow above me has a clue on it. To another arrow somewhere in Veldraken, and that arrow leads to another. Follow the arrows until you find them all and the prize at the end. Use the tricked out thinking cap to find Bangla's clues, then return to Fang. This is the arrow thing. You may have heard about um, people going, What are these arrows doing in Veldraken? Apparently, it was something that was released a little. A little sooner than it should have been. And I saw one of them by the Welping Daycare, and I saw one around the Obsidian Citadel. I'm like, what is going on? What are these? These are the arrows people are talking about, but what does it even mean? And I tried following them, and anyway, um, use the truck down thinking cap to find Fangly's clues and return to Fangly Hoot. Okay, let's do this. Have a good one. Where's the arrow above her head? Oh, wait, I see it. I just am too zoomed out. Yep, that's what they looked like. So. But you couldn't click on them. Next arrow, west, where little worms and whelps go. <gasps> yes! I know exactly where that is. I know I've been neglectful. I feel terrible about it. Hi, Rosiana. Hey, hi, everybody. Mm, I'm so sorry. Here. I know it's over here by, uh, by the, the, he's sleeping. I love I, l I love the little snores. Anyway, here's the arrow. First clue. Next arrow, East Artisan's Market. Hi, guys. Hi. Hope you're all doing well. I will promise I'll visit again soon. Oh, wait. Ha-ha! Found an arrow. Second clue. East. Jeweler's bench. That's easy. <laughs> I know where the jeweler's bench is. <gasps> I 
I see it. Look. Trixie! It's on top of the barrel. Third clue. Third clue. Next arrow. Southwest. Alchemist bench. Well, I should know where that is. <laughs> it's right over here. I'm an alchemist. I should know that. So, there's more than one alchemist bench. But... Come on now. Why are you making me work this hard, huh? Why are you making me work this hard? <gasps> I know they're AFK. But come on, don't sit on the clue. <gasps> There's the fourth clue that our, our druid friend is sitting on. So if you're here and some a player is not sitting or standing on your clue, it's at the it's on the alchemist bench to the right, not the one on the left. Anyway, fourth clue. Northeast, above the auctioneers. Next arrow. 1212 is probably like above the auctioneers. Outside? Oh, it's outside. Look, you can see sparkle from here. Nice. So you are going to make me fly. Got it. Is this another play sitting on top of my clue? No, the clue's over here. Okay, so the clue is literally over the entrance. Right here. That's the fifth clue. Fifth clue is... Next arrow, Northwest, the blacksmith. Alright, this is the one I thought... I saw the first... Like, I saw during the... When they shouldn't have been there yet. Stage. <laughs> no need. Found the sixth clue. Six clue. Six clue! I'm trying to put the stream markers over each clue. There we go. Six clue. Next arrow, east. Seat of the aspects. Do they mean on top or do they mean the building itself? No, but it's about as far as inside as you can go before. Seventh clue. Seventh clue. Your prize, southeast, the Emerald Grotto. Fourteen point negative ten. Get off my plane. There it is. Yes. All right. We about to find out what our prize is. Eighth clue. Riddle solve. The tricked out thinking cap. Eighth clue. All right. Eighth clue. Congratulations! Grab the treasure below. So we now know what the arrows are for. <laughs> Solve riddle. What did I get? What did I get? I also have a ton more stuff sitting in my bags. Blizzard. <laughs> I need to have a talk with you about this because I'm going to hold on to all this stuff forever and ever and ever. And it's I have a problem. So now I have to return to her. Hey, how you doing? So now we're handing in our quest. Good work. Now you're the master of thinking. I don't know about that, but sure. Glad I could help. Secret of Azeroth, one secret found. Look. Okay. I haven't done it in September yet. <laughs> So that's for the trading post, which we're going to next. So cool. All right. Um, 
that was technically day three. I didn't know the spear was day two, because uh, I could get it on the first day it was out, which was Thursday. Uh, so that's day... Now, I sh there should be another one um, at 6 p.m. tonight. And I'm back, and I do not see a quest for today. <laughs> um, which means maybe there... Good day to you. Oh, wait. Hold on. An inside job. My mistake. Fengli Hoot, Hoot says she has a theory on who might be stealing the artifacts. Seek her out again near near the barber shop. Speak with Fengli Hoot near the Valdrak and barber shop. There was no quest marker on his head, so just be sure to check. You've got two two quest givers in here so far that deal with the um, secrets of Azeroth. I'd say just. Welcome, friend. Oh. An inside job. I have a theory. What if the so-called preservationist is stealing the artifacts, then having you return fakes instead? I'll go live, I'll give you the location of a box with the preservationist keeping artifacts. Grab one. Then follow these coordinates to get an appraiser who can verify of what you find is legit. You will receive Fangley's note, copied artifact. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see. Can I read these? I'm, my inventory is filling up with crap. Copied artifact storage key. Fangley doesn't elaborate on how she got the key. <laughs> Fangley's note. Artifact storage locker. Start at the lamp as you reach the second floor of Roasted Ram. Two cogs, three bolts. Start at the bank mailbox. Twelve cogs, thirteen bolts. Appraiser. Okay, so. We gotta go to the Roasted Ram. Roasted Ram. Start at the lamp as you reach the second floor of the roasted ram. This is the lamp. I'm not wearing my hat. Um, I forget what it was called. Oh, tricked out train thinking cat. Hey, it gives me the it gives me the instructions. Okay, we are at zero zero cog bolts. Okay, start there. So two cogs, negative three bolts. I mean, my guess is it's probably here somewhere. What's that there? Here we go. I don't remember this ever being here. Preservationist locker. Okay. Open. Take the item. What did I take? Maruk burial banner. Hide banner with Maruk centaur markings. Can I look at it? No. So now I gotta take it to the appraiser. So I think I have to take it off and then put it back on. Twelve cogs, thirteen bolts. Appraiser. Start at the bank mailbox. Twelve cogs. Minus thirteen bolts. Oh my god. I thought it was a dash. Alright. This way. Well, it's minus 12, so no. Appraiser! <laughs> Though the appraiser is in quotations. <laughs> but okay. Um, 
Let's go talk to the appraiser. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got this far. Okay, you must be working with Fangly. Those hats aren't exactly inconspicuous. No, they're not. <laughs> what do you need? Fangly said you could appraise this item to see if it's genuine. Yeah, let me take a look. A Maruk, a Mar a Maruk burial banner. Proper threading. The ink's are natural. Weathering matches the expectations of age. This is authentic. Looks like Fangly was wrong. Name is Sazzle Sticky Fingers. I am a rogue. This sounds suspicious to me. Um, you better return the item before the preservationist knows it's missing. Then let Fangly know that a theory didn't pan out. Return the burial banner to the preservationist locker, the roasted ram. Okay, that I at least know where it is. That took way too long to find. But, you know what? It's satisfying when you do. I didn't look it up. <laughs> Figured it out on my own. The coordinates from the helmet are a bit off. I would like to say that because they're a little off. Hmm, interesting. I can put it back, right? All right. I'll just put it back. Return the burial banner. Can I jump out the window? Yep. Rogues can have da have safety from falling damage. <laughs> I sometimes overestimate how much. Okay. Now we can talk to you. Really? I was pretty sure they were the perpetrator. Oh well. I got other leads to follow. I'll let you know when I'm ready to move on them. I'll take that key back too. Thank you, because I really don't have that much space in my inventory, frankly. An inside you. job? So, yeah. Yay. Um, <laughs> four down, several more to go. But I'm getting my alpaca with my little Sherlock's.